Thank you. It's not easy to continue after these two persons before me. Yeran, who is a very experienced speaker, and he showed a lot of pictures. I must be brother of Yeran because he's dead. Peo is his dad. At, I think Peo is my dad too in orienting. And I will talk a little bit about, uh, I have a short time, about PWT Park War Tour. What is my hard item? I, I can use this, this uh, word because we created something in good in orienting, I feel. And from the beginning, it was not understand it well from maybe the traditional orienteers. And I need to find it first. What is this? Yeah. yeah. Try to help me. Yeah. OK. I will shorter. I don't talk so much. I have some pictures, but I would like to explain about the Parkour Tour at what it was created in 1995. It started to be discussion about it, and we had first promotion race. In, it was in Sweden. They collected good runners, but 95, we compete today's afternoon terrain for first time. It was sprint race or middle distance race here in Prague, and we will compete today, top runners. And 1996, it was the first competition in Pargo Tour, Tour, as Tour. <coughs> we started in Finland and Sweden, Norway. A Czech Republic hanging with this group because I feel it was the best for the for orienteering. It was good for the country. They are not in the richest country in orienteering and we came to Prague as final 1996 and competition was in yesterday's area in Stromovka Park. And uh, this is the symbol for, for everybody know it. And I still, with some other symbol, we created the other copy, but after we back to the symbol, and I think it's the best. And uh, I only to explain what, what is it, what of all this, because it was mixed many times. Parkwater is organization, not any company, winning company. We had sponsors, Ericsson sponsor, PWT until 2002, after it was economic crisis, and after that, a lot of people around the PWT disappear, money disappear, and a lot of people disappear too. And after that, we, under this time, 96, we start, 99, 98, we came first time to China because the Ericsson wished to come to China as biggest sponsor, and they wish us to come there. It means we get there. And after it was created, I can say two companies, not organization. PWT is still organization, no winning, doing business. But after that, we had PWT China. It was company who worked with orienteering and start to do, start want to do business in China with orienteering. But it took time, and you will see it after my presentation will be Chinese presentation and. You will see what happened in China. But it takes time. As Yeran said, everything, you must be patient when you start to work with this. And it was the same. But PWT as organization created competition for elite runners. And the uh, idea was to invite top runners, but not only top runners. We really wish to <coughs> spread it. It means our goal was to have the best runners with us, 25 men, 25 women. We created sprint, but we wish to have many flags too. It means it was balanced between good, and I don't want to say not good. To get runners from the poor economical countries, you know, we help them from beginning, we pay their tickets, everything, they come to competition, 50 runners, same condition, good hotel, bad hotel, doesn't matter, everybody same, no entry fee. It was idea, and this idea is still, I hope the, we in IOF, we will come there. You know what, we, we find the big sponsors to, to cover big costs and help the countries who cannot come to walk. We need to invite them by IOF clinic for the walker, and so on. And uh, yeah, until 2000, we grow up very quickly. We have a lot of ideas. We were quickly, quickly because we don't need to wait so much for any big 
democratical meeting as IOF as big organization is and we, we change it by night rules a little bit for the best for the runners. We met a lot of problems but we fix it because we want to fix it and make runners happy. And uh, until 2000, where was Champions Week in Leibniz, there was the step, next step, what we want to do and our idea was to create Sprint Tour as title with World Championship. But it was decision was different and IOF took Sprint to Walk program, it's good decision, but still, personally, I feel it tour could be better. You see it now, and the sprint is most complicated competition to organize. We had a lot of problems with the competition, but we solved it with the help of runners. We created some symbols for the sprint and so on, but I don't want to talk so much about this. But 2000 was the border when we were on the top. 2002 was the biggest top of the Pargo Tour and after we lost Ericsson and of course we lost power. Walk was more important of course for all runners but we still have runners, almost all best runners running PWT somewhere in Europe or China. All except maybe Daniel Hubman, only one. But he will come, he's still young. It means 2002, but we continue, and after that, some people disappear. We have PVT Travel, who is still developing, like Bill Bankson, travel around to new countries. We try, of course, it's some kind of business. PWT Travel work with this skiing, orienteering, running, but still, when we go to new country, we do some maps. We try to find, is my work, to find somebody, some schools, to leave the map there, not only to go there, make happy 20, 100 retired people, you know, they are there for holiday, but we try to find a, somebody to continue. This year we were in Gambia and we have some good contact with the school. It was one of the most nice uh, time when the, the, the foreigners running together with the student, local student, and they enter water and hearing day on the end, the school in Gambia. Uh, I know I have only five minutes, but still I don't want to say more about this. It was, the rules was very clear for organizer and I really wish and we will come to this and no entry fee, the cover by organizer, same accommodation, transport information for the runners. It means no one team running, sleeping there in the good hotel, somebody sleeping in the school in the floor. We try to do it same for everyone. Runners cover only their costs. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of good runners there. <coughs> yeah, this is not a good picture, I only copied, but we created 2001 manual, you know. It was never used in, in IOF structure. We sell it to, to FIS Ski Federation. They use it for, for their ski sprint competition because they were one, late, one year later as we, we sprint. Orienting was first with sprint, but now ski sprint in the fifth system came one year later us. It means we are faster. But it was a book about 150 pages. It was described everything from how high and so on. But this is no time to talk about it. But I have it in my computer. If somebody interested, I can give it. Yeah, but this I want to see, show this. We, are, we have now about 103 competition what we did it from beginning it was more international but on the end you need to find somebody who pay we had ericsson we traveled to countries like czech czech federation used it as world cup in orienteering in that time the name it was not true but they need it through first pvt races in czech they find good sponsor who is almost still nine mine sponsor for czech federation with good money after 35 events, you know, 90, 2000, the sprint became to, to walk program. It means we did very good tests for, for us, for IOF, because I'm IOF too, I am not only PVT, I'm sitting in two chairs. But we invest, I was counting all prize money, what runners get through PVT. It's take about 4.2 million Swedish crowns, we are talking. If you counting at every competition, the organizer pay two days costs for 50 runners. I know one minute. 
This is, yeah, it was like this. About five, half million euro, we, the runners get to us help for orienteering because they use it. It's not big money, you know. We are not tennis, we are not football. They use it for orienteering. And here I put a little bit structure how to develop because we are talking developing, but we stay still in Europe, you know, walk every year in Europe. I did like some kind of historical about walk where it was. You see some country four times, some country only one time, still missing some big country because they have not money to pay the fee to do Russia and big other big countries. This is what I want to say. I have short time, and but in China, it takes 20 years or maybe 15 years we came there, I wish to come. And they start to develop orienteering from schools. When we get there, we met only students, beginners, they cannot orienteering, but now, they really start from beginning up to 20 years and they have help of government. There is not big, big, they have sponsors, but the government who pay to companies who organize orienteering. And it will be Joanna from OIC talking and show you some picture from China. I have short time, I can talk longer, but it's, I think it was only to explain what we did with orienteering, but, and PWT, and we try to continue. We continue Peo's work, I hope so, in the right way. Thank you.